you know, a lot of folks been asking about my fish basket that I have in previous videos. I figure I broke my last one, so I'm gonna go get a a new one, and I'm gonna show y'all how to make them. Y'all stay tuned for that. Welcome to Walking on Water. I'm Anthony. My channel is about fishing, fellowship, and faith. See, God created this world for us and gave us all the senses we need to dwell here. I'm just trying to show you another way, the way he intended. If this interests you, then I'll tell you like Christ told Simon Peter, follow me and I'll make you a fisherman of men. Facts. So are you coming? <laughs> Method works. Always stay close to the promises of God. Now, the last time I got me a fish basket, I went over to Dick Sporting Goods. Which is filled with scream on the outside. But went in there, they didn't have it. So I had to turn around and I went over to Academy. Which Academy, they had it. I must admit, it seems a little pricey from last year. But hey, let's make our basket. Here's the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need your fish basket, some zip ties two pool noodles, and some rope. Possibly a knife to cut your pool noodle. So all I'm doing is focusing on this top line here. Take your zip tie, come in, come back out, just like that. Same thing here, go in, come back out, just like that. Now. It doesn't matter. This is 16 zip ties. That's what I'm using. I can take my pool noodle and I set that pool noodle right there. And then I'll tight, tighten it down. And I go all around to do that. And I don't lock them down extra tight until I got everything where I want it. It's just so it can hold it up. Now you see it doesn't go all the way back. It don't go all the way around. So to kind of get a measurement, rough cut. I'll leave my finger here. So I need about that much to be cut. Don't have to be perfect. Kind of want to make sure it's, it'll hold. And then I'll go ahead and zip that down. Once I got that, I want to make sure that I got a zip tie close to close to the edges. So I'm gonna add another zip tie. And see, there's one there, so I'm gonna well go ahead and lock that down. Cause it's right on the edge. I wouldn't go as far as trying to glue this thing or anything, cause it doesn't really matter. You just want this thing to float in the water. And so. I'm gonna lock down this one. See how that's locked? Now, if you can notice the squares on the outside, that's what you want. Once you cut it, say you cut this, you got it tight, and then you cut it. You can take that square and you can kind of twist it. However you want it, you can twist it. Have it up, you can twist it up, or you can twist it down to uh so it won't be sticking out. It don't matter, it really don't matter to me, so I'm gonna just keep going. Now I got an extra zip, extra zip ties right here for just for these edges, so I can 
make sure they're pressed down good. So I go in here. Back out. Press it down. Push it in there. Lock it down. Now I got it locked down. So now I'm just gonna lock everything down. And so we can get to the rope. We can get to the rope right here. We're gonna lock it down. And uh, I'll show y'all what I do about that. Okay, as y'all can see, I'm gonna lock it down. So I got the noodles set. Oh, while I'm thinking about noodles, I wanna say a shout out to my man Andre. Provided me with all these extra noodles he had lying around. Also, congratulations to Gondre for his uh, PB. He caught like a 2.6, a 2.4, a 2.2. Man, we was hammering him out there that day. So, shout out to you, brother. If y'all don't know, I like to make these uh, catfish noodles, the catfish floats. I have to show that to y'all. And I'll make that another video. But hey, now we just need to get the rope. All right, y'all, so I got my, my rope tied on. Pretty good. That shouldn't come off. And uh, you can use something fancy, like one of these clips here. Put it on there so you can lock it to your boat. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to I just tie a loop knot like that. My boat has cleats on it. And I, so I just hook mine just like that. And then I take it. When, I, when I'm fishing and I put my fish in my basket, it'll be floating on the side of the boat just like this. That way I don't have to, if I'm not keeping a fish, I can release it. You know, when I'm done fishing like a brush pile. Matter of fact, I got a guide trip tomorrow, so we're gonna be putting this to good use. I'm gonna let y'all see it, see how we do tomorrow. But uh, like I said, quick and easy. It only took me about five, five, 10 minutes because I've been doing this a while. You know, simple, simple, easy to use. Like I said, if you got fish that you're gonna throw back because he's too small, leave him in this basket. Keep the ones that, you don't wanna just be releasing them. And I'll explain that later, but trust, take my word for it. You wanna catch more fish? The ones you're not gonna keep, put them in the basket until you finish fishing. Just a quick little tip for me to you to help y'all catch more fish or put more fish in the boat. Hey, and remember, y'all be blessed. Also, I said I would show y'all the basket in motion. Um, I, I had said yesterday that I was gonna be on a guide trip today and that's what we was doing. So we gotta kinda weed out our fish. Don't wanna spoil the fun. And so we'll get this basket out and let y'all see it. Word of caution, you're not supposed to load the basket up like this. I think it's only rated for uh, 40 pounds, so y'all be careful with that because you will break these handles. I'll let y'all see them. Whole basket full of them. I'm trying to jump out. I'm trying to jump out. So we're going to go ahead and do our measurements. Let y'all see uh, inside that. We know those are legal, 11s and 12s right there. So we're gonna go through that. I just I just kinda wanted to show y'all that. And I'm gonna do a video on how important it is, how I really use this basket. And so, hey, y'all be blessed.